with this month mainly about the summer and enjoying on the beach, I guess this is really appropriate to review beach episodes. And the first beach episode is from the very parents, Beach Bummed. And with a title that had bummed at the end, I guess that really sums up everything on to why Timmy's life is mostly miserable, even though that his parents aren't around. The episode begins with Timmy on the beach while also impressing Trixie with the entire sandcastle, thanks to Cosmo and Wanda. But then Francis completely destroys the entire sandcastle. And this episode is mostly of how Francis is bowling Timmy, which is something that we've seen in previous seasons. And this leads to Timmy making a wish that he be that he must be become stronger so that he can take out Francis. But after he pushes Francis back, Francis keeps going forward because he's a bully and he will do whatever he takes in order to be victorious. That's basically what this entire episode is, except he becomes much more stronger, making him way more unstable against anyone on the beach. Not to mention that Francis uses tractors in order to beat down Timmy. But it's mostly him dumping big piles of sand over Timmy. I'm just gonna say right now that Francis is honestly a lot more lazy, but even though that's part of his character, but at the same time, him just doing these types of stuff over and over again just so that he can take down Timmy, even though that due to Timmy's wish he's become much more stronger, Francis obviously just doesn't know what to do with, with himself. You may think that this episode is good considering this was before Poof was a main character, not to mention the other characters who appeal, making the entire show jumping the shark. But the thing is, this episode isn't really that good, even if it's a beach episode at most. Considering that Timmy wants to go up against Francis in order to prove that he's better and also getting Trixie, which... P.S. This episode is right after just the two of us, so I'm going to assume that people just don't like Trixie in this episode after watching that episode. Then you can tell that this episode is mostly mediocre. Even though if it's mostly an episode that didn't have any continuing plots when it comes to returning characters, this episode just isn't really a good episode to waste your time on, even if it's a beach episode. Let's get into Timmy's wish, well, he becomes stronger and much more buffer. But I will admit that this wish isn't really a bad wish whatsoever. Granted, this leads to so many consequences, but at the same time, for how much that Timmy just wants to be stronger than, Fe than Francis, and then when he ends up getting into a situation where he becomes too strong, and then this leads to him becoming a sea monster, is when the episode is starting to become a lot more better compared to the first half. Because even though that the first half is somewhat tolerable, there are some issues when it comes to Trixie. Considering this was right after just the two of us, her obsession on gaining attention is still a major issue with her character. And if you're gonna say that the reason why she's with Francis is because of the guide of beach bowling, then no, not even close. Yes, beach bullies exist on the beach instead of at school, but at the same time, I highly doubt that Trixie will ever hang out with Francis. Granted, she doesn't want to hang out with Timmy, but every time I think about this, th it's really out of character for Trixie. I'm pretty sure she will better off on going on with someone else when it comes to the amount of space on the beach and the fact that she's willing to go with Francis even though that there's so other ways for her to get out of it. I don't even find that really believable. I mean, for how old my review on Just the Two of Us was, after re-watching and gaining information from the episode thanks to other reviewers, I can at least understand what Trixie is coming from. But here, I'm pretty sure that the Alpha Show person might be able to review this episode if he's actually curious to talk about Trixie again, but at the same time, he pretty much discussed everything when it comes to the Just the Two of Us. 
He did mention the episode where Trixie is disguised as a boy, but at the same time, his opinion on how it ruined Trixie's character, it's always debate. It's his opinion, and for me personally, I don't always agree with all of his opinions, and that episode is one of them. If there's one thing I really enjoy from the all your seasons from the show, is mainly Cosmo and Wanda. Not only that they lost the wands in the sand, they also get transported into a restaurant where they're about to be eaten for the customers. Let me just say for how much that this show does for Cosmo and Wanda, there's really no point to adding Poof or Sparky whatsoever. Because I can say that this dynamic between Cosmo and Wanda, or in this case, wife and husband, if that's really appropriate for this topic. And when we get the best jokes from them, I'm pretty sure that if you watch the audio seasons and ignore the Leo seasons, it actually shows that Cosmo and Wanda are really sane. Seriously, I didn't forget that I made my dysfunctional list and my functional list in 2017. And for how old these videos were, they're not really outdated. Just because they were not part of my top 10 outdated videos doesn't mean that they're outdated when it comes to dishonorable mentions. Getting back to this episode, after being turned into a sea monster, which results the dims there to call the emergency team or the army in order to take down Timmy, T Cosmo and Wanda manage to find the wands just in time and make Timmy's wish to turn back to normal. And I gotta say, that is actually a savage line when Timmy said, You are all just a waste of money. <laughs> I gotta admit, Timmy has one of the best lines in the first half of this show when it comes to the all your seasons. And considering for all the torture that you went through in this episode, mainly from Francis, I'm pretty sure that he actually deserves to say those lines wherever they're appropriate. And speaking of Francis, Timmy puts the seaweed that he had whaled when he was a sea monster onto Francis and convinces everyone that he is the sea monster. I gotta say, Francis had this coming after all the stress that he put Timmy through. But then again, after this episode, he just remains back to being a bully, so... It's always a lose-lose situation when it comes to Francis being one of the antagonists in Timmy's score. But other than that, this episode is what it is. It's not good, but at the same time, the first half really damages most of the credibility from this episode. Which is mostly saying a lot since two years ago, I reviewed all the Equestria Girls Beach shorts, and now I'm reviewing Beach episodes from other cartoons, so don't say that they're mostly escapable from my viewpoint on these episodes. Besides, even if these beach episodes remind me to go to the beach during this time of year, it won't make any difference because I barely go on to the beach even with the amount of activities available. I may do fanfics of them when it comes to Equestria Girls, but at the same time, doing it in the real world is just not really the same regardless. Granted, these episodes are from cartoons, but still. I give this episode a 6.25 out of 10. Let's get this started again, again, again. Me and my whole crew.